Hey guys, we're here with the Path of Marketing. The world is all about AI right now, and as you know, many website builders are turning to AI to make the process of building websites easier. Duda, which is one of our favorite website uh, building and hosting platforms, is following suit and has launched a number of different AI programs, I guess you'd call it, or uh, different tools. Uh, and one of which uh, we're going to talk about today is their new site builder, new-ish site builder, I should say. Um, so we're going to walk through this. Basically, this is going to take a huge amount of the effort that it takes to get a website set up. Um, you can do a bunch of content gathering ahead of time, use this interface, and create essentially a new website uh, that you can then go in and adjust, but it takes a, the lion's share of that. Uh, upfront work off where you're just you know building individual pages and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at Duda's interface. Uh, by the way, we've done a number of other videos about Duda, um, comparing it to uh, WordPress and stuff like that. So uh, we'll put a link in the description below to some of those videos that were, are related to du the Duda uh, platform if you're interested in learning more about it. Uh, so let's take a look at how to create a site without needing to do a lot of the upfront heavy lifting. So I'm in the Duda uh, panel. Uh, as you can see, we have a number of different clients and stuff in here, but as well as test sites. All right, so we're gonna click on create new site, then we're gonna start from file. And you can see here, you can upload a file. And so what we've done is we've pulled together this file. That's for a sample uh, pressure washing company, a service company. Um, and we are going to, as you can see here, we have it outlined by pages, right? So we're going to make a multi-page multi website. And we've just very quickly gone through and determined what the title tag should be, what the meta description, uh, body content, that kind of stuff. And honestly, we used ChatGPT to generate this. I just kind of gave it some criteria to build out typical content that would be uh, for a pressure washing site with this name. Uh, you can see they put in some placeholders that we would have to change um, uh, if this were a real client, uh, which Radiant Clean is a real company, uh, but uh, we're just using it as an example. This is not their content, but it is um, actually pretty good content for a pressure washing company that ChatGPT made. Uh, so, and you can see they have service pages. They've kind of broken out the body content. Uh, created a contact page. We told it what pages we wanted it to create and it generated this content. So we're just taking this as a Word document um, and we're going to upload it. And so let me upload that. Now, if I can remember where I put it, here we go. Here's the Radiant Clean document. And we're just uploading that to the system. Okay. Uh, you can choose from here you say how should we use this file uh, you can use it as a prompt for new content so um, we have it structured page by page um, you could take just notes uh, that you have set up um, or just you know brief sections or whatever and ask their AI to write the content for you we have not experimented with that so I don't know how good that would be but you know Maybe they will do that in another video here. Uh, and then we can use it word for word on the site. Uh, so, you know, it's not difficult to uh, either copy and paste content from an existing site, put that into the text document and upload it. So that is one way to do it. Obviously, you're going to want to be writing the content and stuff for your client, um, especially from an SEO perspective. Um, so it doesn't take that long to put together a Word document that, or a Google document that has all of that content um, and then upload it. So that's what we would suggest, although we will experiment with the developing and you have the AI develop content because that's kind of neat. Um, you can do a single page where in this case, we're going to do a multi-page. So we're going to have it analyze the file and that's going through the content right now. And you can see it's actually pretty quick. I mean, that it's not a huge document. It's only a few pages, but um, so it's going through and doing that. All right. So we have that. Built in, uh, we could add a logo. Let's let's add the Radiant Clean logo. What? Well, actually, you know what? I don't know if I have it on this computer, so uh, we'll bypass that. So this is a summary of um, the notes that it basically extracted from the file that you uh, uploaded. So this is kind of the summary that it creates for the AI tool to generate stuff. Um, you can also put in prompts and different ideas for that summary so that it will uh, create that for you. 
Uh, choose your language. And then you can choose your preferred tone of voice, conversational, professional. Uh, let's try conversational because some if you're trying to do too professional, sometimes it can sound a little jilted. Don't necessarily want to be humorous, but conversational is good. Next. Now you can choose a um, color palette. So let's, and you can, there's more options too. So uh, I don't think we want anything necessarily bright and fun. Um, and then we'll overthink this. Let's just go with something like, uh, I guess we can go with that. And now you can choose your uh, base fonts. Let's go with Poppins. All right, and now it's gonna go through and take all those sections and start building out the pages in the editor. Um, and it's gonna select a theme for you as well. Okay, applying the finishing touches. As you can see, normally setting up a website would take a significant amount of time to go through and build each page and, you know, copy different template sections or copy pages. And you have to cut and paste the content in there into the various sections. And so we're skipping some of that. All right. And these are the pages that it's building out and you can see it's starting to populate the different sections of the page. And what's neat about this is you can actually, um, once you have this set up correctly, you can, once it's built all these sections out, you can actually go in and switch sections around. Um, so it's in the process of still building these out. It looks like, uh, just could continue and see what happens. Oh, no, there we go. And you can see kind of, so it's built out sections of these pages. Um, and so there's contact information, form prompt, that kind of stuff. We could go in and switch these around if we wanted to for whatever reason we could, uh, if we liked a different order or something like that. So if you had more content on each of these pages, it would definitely make sense to like, you know, switch those around. All right. And this is the, uh, content over here. So this is your various content for, for the site. Uh, you can see the different pages here. So let's see what the about us services. And so it broke this out into the different cards for the services, which is kind of cool, right? So not in love with the look of this. So with that in mind, we can take the, um, homepage here and choose to regenerate the page. So let's just, uh, the new Cicely, oh, yep. let's try. So let's just see if it comes up with a bit better generation. And if it doesn't, we're gonna show you what you can do next. And again, this just gives you the framework to speed this process up. So I fully don't anticipate this being a um, client facing <laughs> end product. Um, and that's pretty bad uh, from a web page perspective. So um, I think they're trying to put too much in that hero section. You know, what we could have done is designate like a hero section in the content uh, and that would have been better, uh, but we can go to the hero here and select something that's a little bit different. Uh, Oh, it looks like the hero is actually down. So let's move that up. All right. So we can have a hero intro here. We can then do something with this section. Uh, let's call it inner hero. All right better, but still not quite there, but you get the idea, right? So like we can actually, if we'd loaded a, um, a logo here and stuff that would have been there. Um, it builds up the footer for you. Let's go to look at one of the other pages, say they bought us. Um, let's regenerate this section. 
Oh, you can enter a prompt too. I didn't realize that. Uh, so you can do regenerate images, regenerate text and images. Let's see them. Now this is going to rewrite that text too. So just be aware that you might not like, like not like that text if it's regenerating the text. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that one. So let's, uh, let's choose something a little different from these are the, the pre done like hero sections. Let's see if that applies it correctly to the about us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's better. And you can see here, they actually chose when we didn't choose these images. So they chose relevant images, uh, to be generated for this based on the content, which is pretty cool. So that's, you know, um, I believe these are AI generated, uh, and not just stock. So that's pretty cool that, um, it's doing that. Let's see what else they came up with here for our services. Yeah, these aren't bad. You know, look, all those gen all those images are chosen by the the AI to be relevant to the content. Let's change this um, inner hero, inner page hero. Um, make it something a little bit more dramatic. Let's see if the content uh, fits this. All right, <laughs> it's not bad, right? So it's obviously um, generating an applicable image. Uh, obviously, you know, you can go in and change all of these things, all the different placeholders. You can put this in the, the editor. So now let's just say that we're cool with this, um, that we're done kind of with the, the AI area. Um, we could add, you know, other sections here, um, and have it generate the, the look and feel here. So let's do like testimonials. Uh, let's put that in in there. All right. And we can have this regenerate the content. So you can see here, we can sh say, you know, what we want this content to kind of say, we can generate it. So you can put prompts in for each of these. And again, this is a placeholder. So that way you can kind of generate some of this. We have very um, applicable, again, pictures, although I'm not sure whether cleaning the pool like that. Um, so you can see the AI is generating these images. Um, some of them are actually pretty good. So pretty neat. Uh, let's continue to the editor. So say everything looks okay. Now we can go to uh, with all the pages so we can know it's building it in the editor itself. And so then you can see in the typical editor layout, if you're familiar with Duda, so now you have the uh, various pages from your site. So you have the homepage and the about us, which did not generate correctly. That's interesting. So this is the contact page. It was not the about us page. And here's a contact page. So that didn't, doesn't look like it crossed over from the AI generator correctly. So that's interesting. And then this is the services page that we were playing with. And then we added those, that section. So still a couple things that didn't, looks like it didn't quite work correctly. So that about us page definitely didn't work. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe I'll have to contact the folks at Duda to see why, but as you can see, overall, this was a huge time saver. So whether you like the look and feel or not, um, you can go in and adjust it. Now that it's in the editor, we can go in and replace these pictures. We can replace sections. We can change the layout. And so we can start finessing it so that, you know, we can get it up to um, client standard. So what, what, whatever we would want to be able to show a client. And so we can change the logo, all that kind of stuff. We can change the navigation. Um, you could even go in and change the theme, right? So within here, so say you didn't want to, um, uh, go with this theme. You didn't like how the look was. You can go in and change the theme of this. Um, and you know, there is the AI assistant to help you do some of this stuff, but you can very easily go in and tweak this. So, 
Not 100% perfect, but if you're working on a lot of websites um, at a time and you have content from your client, you can definitely get a huge head start on this so you don't have to go in and copy and paste and do all that kind of stuff. If you're not familiar with making websites and you don't have a lot of great photography or something like that, this could very quickly produce a, a website for you that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, with the little updates here and there using AI generated content so that that way uh, you don't have to go out and get a bunch of photo photographs. You don't have to go find a bunch of stock images that you're buying and that kind of stuff. This would definitely give you a head start in um, getting those images and stuff like that for your business. So uh, as you can see, these are all pretty relevant. So if we go to the uh, image, it's not in the image section. Oh, there we go. Manage image. If you go to the actual image, you can see that these aren't too bad. Uh, they're kind of relevant. So, um, again, this wouldn't be client facing yet, but it, even just building out this grid and putting in some initial content that came from the sheet and stuff, even if I have to go in and swap out these or change the style of the images or something, that's going to save me a huge amount of time um, in getting this website up and running. So you can see how this would have a lot of different um, capabilities and would definitely knock hours off of any sort of website development, particularly if you're working on a very large site and you just need to get these cranked out and kind of the meat of the site put on the pages, um, that'd be a huge help. And then obviously you go in and have your designers or your folks go in and tweak it. Um, and like I said, if you don't know anything about website design, this is a heck of a lot better than some of the sites that we see coming out of like very mom and pop or very not professional website design companies. You know, the guy that's uh, selling, you know, $99 websites on Facebook uh, community group pages, uh, you're going to get a better site than, than what they're producing. So hope this was helpful. We're going to keep exploring some of the AI stuff in Duda. Um, this is just a very quick look at uh, how you can take text and upload it and create a site. And, you know, you're going to have to develop the text or have the text for the site anyway. Just putting it into a document and uploading it and have that do, you know, uh, 60 or 70 percent of the work for you right out of the gate is going to save you a huge amount of time. Um, if you have questions about Duda, if you have questions about website development or anything else, let us know. We're going to keep looking at some of these AI features that Duda's uh, been uh, announcing and rolling out recently, and uh, we'll be sharing those with you in the near future. So hope you have a great one. Leave some uh, comments below if you if you want to have questions or, or need anything. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.